What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. I love to see your smiling faces back on the channel. So today I picked up a new product that I've been wanting to try for a while. It's from Jack's Wax. It's called their Black Trim Renew. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this testing. I'm going to give it its fair shake. I'm going to try it on all kinds of different plastics today. Uh, I'm going to try it on the Jeep here. You can see these worn out uh, fender flares and the strips down the door, they fade out really, really, uh, really, really bad. They're nasty. Um, they might as well be white. So this Jeep sits outside all year round, so I don't really have a garage spot for it. I have six cars and only have four car garage. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to do this, these fender flares, I'm going to do the bumper covers on this to see they're a little bit darker of a black but they still are faded. I'm also going to go over to the Land Rover. We're going to do the front grill of that. We're all going to do. We're going to do that all in this video today. I'm going to take you step by step on how I did it. I started a little bit on the uh, passenger side of the Jeep and kind of taped it off to see a before and after. Um, it really doesn't matter with how many coats you do. I was I, what I was doing over there before the video was trying to find out a uh, trying to figure out a good applicator because. Uh, not all the time do you buy the same applicator from the manufacturer, so I thought that was important that we try a couple different things. Um, and I'm going to recommend, uh, I'm gonna recommend uh, what I find to be the, the best applicator. Um, so let's get kicking on it. Let's not make this, uh, vi this intro very long. Um, I know a buddy of mine had requested something like this, so I hope this helps. Uh, depending on these three different plastic materials, uh, it, it should cover just about any automotive plastic trim that fades out. So um, let's get down to it and we'll do the, uh, the driver's side fender here first and then maybe one of these strips on the side and then we'll get to the bumper covers. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's get down to it. This is a black trim renew. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this, uh, this round microfiber uh, applicator pad that I get from Walmart, nice and cheap, something I can throw away. Um, of course, Jack Swax does sell their little, their little cubes. Um, I'm going to try it with this. Uh, I've had good luck with these, so I'm going to stick with these for now. But um, So I'm going to apply this on here quite liberally. I'm going to just turn it over, put it on my plastic. So the manufacturer's instructions say to uh, tape off the painted areas. I think this is just for those people that um, that are a little bit too reckless with the product since it is a dye. Um, it could mess with your painted surfaces, stuff like that. So they probably just put that on there so uh, they don't have to worry about some idiot calling and saying that they screwed up their paintwork or something like that because they were just all uh, willy-nilly with it. So pretty easy to apply. Um, just get it back in there in the, in the corners. Um, they say let it penetrate for several minutes before you wipe off the excess. Um, what I did on the previous one is I wiped it on like this to get even coverage and made sure I got up underneath everything and where I wanted it. And then I went back over and liberally applied a little bit extra on it so that it soaked in. So now I'll go back over, just put a little bit more on there and go over and liberally apply to everywhere. So apply it in both directions, found gets get in the grain of the plastic, and we'll let that sit there. Um, it says on the bottle several minutes, so it says spread on even thin coat, no real specific directions. It will start to penetrate the plastic, let sit for several minutes. I'm going to let it sit for a total of five minutes. Um, on the other side, um, I let it sit for five or six minutes. It really doesn't dry out fast, so it's really not like you need to get to it right away, or there's a, you know, a, a specific time. Um, you just want it to soak in and, and, and penetrate. Um, now, I don't know if their if their applicator um, if their applicator does any better with it, but I like this to be able to feel exactly where I'm where I'm putting it. I don't necessarily like those cube applicators, so. That's probably one of the reasons why I didn't go ahead and get it. And plus, I'm not always going to have those available to me. Yeah, you can order them online or I can stop by the store. But what if Walmart's the only thing on my way home? I like something that I like to use products that I can um, 
you know, like especially applicators and stuff like that, if I'm headed somewhere and I can just pick it up, um, I'd rather be able to do that than have to order it online. Um, and that's why I think there's a benefit to it there. So we'll go on down the door here. I don't think you need to tape off um, the paintwork as long as you are wiping off the paint um, after you apply this. I think you'll be just fine. Um, of course, uh, if they say paint, if they say to tape off the painted surface, there's probably a reason for it. Um, but I think it, from I got it a little bit on the paint on the other side of the truck, and it uh, seemed to wipe off the paintwork just fine. So go down through here. I'll do these and get onto my other fender flare, and then we'll come back and wipe off. Um, let's go ahead and start the clock. All right, I've went, went through and uh, basically coated the whole side of this uh, of this uh, truck. Um, I'm waiting on time to elapse to go ahead and and, uh, and wipe it off here. So one thing I will say, they definitely uh, reminded you over and over and over again that it's good to wear gloves. This is a black dye, um, so yeah, of course wear gloves. I tested it on my other hand; it seemed to come off uh, quite quite quickly. But if you do the whole vehicle, yeah, I can see how your hands will get stained up. So um, we're going to wait for five minutes to elapse, and then uh, we're going to wipe this off. All right, so five, five minutes has elapsed, so we're going to go ahead and, and wipe this off. Now, I'm just using a regular microfiber. Um, you can see I used it already on the other side of the truck, but I'm literally just going to wipe off the excess um, just as instructions show. Now one of the reasons why I did test this on the other side of the truck is I wanted to see if a couple coats, a couple application coats would make a difference. And um, on the other side of the truck, it made no difference. Um, my second coat, I applied really, really liberally and let it sit, uh, a real heavy coat, let it sit on the surface and it pretty much uh, didn't make a difference. So one coat is all you get, um, whatever it looks like after the first coat, is pretty much all she wrote. Uh, that, it's, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to test off video. Um, it just, uh, I'll roll in a little, a little clip here so you can see first coat, uh, what it looks like, and then the second coat of what it looks like. And you can see how there's uh, no real difference. I'll even swap back and forth real quick so you can see first coat and then the second coat. And you can see how there's really no difference in that. Um, that second coat being, um, I let it sit for uh, five minutes with it uh, soaking wet on there. So that's basically what it looks like after one coat. Um, very happy with it. It definitely does look a lot darker. Um, <laughs> judging by the um, how it looked before, um, huge difference. Um, I'll, uh, after, after, well, actually right now, I'll go ahead and roll in what it looks like um, when I take the tape off. On the other side, I'll roll in exactly what it looks like when I take the tape off and then side by side on it. So it is a huge improvement over um, what it looked like before. So this did not have, this trim has never had a, 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 a trim renew on it like this. I know there are tons of products out there, but this has never been treated just something I didn't bother with because Jeeps are infamous for this, so I've just never touched it. But definitely um, like the look of it just in the first application. And for a bottle at $20, um, really not bad. You could do quite a few cars with this. Um, and I'm pretty happy with the results. So now let's roll on to the bumper covers and we'll, I'll show you the bumper covers and how they take it. They're a little bit darker already, so I think they're really gonna darken up and they're really gonna look good. So let's roll over to that. Okay, so now we're down here on the bumper cover here, um, just forward of where we just got done doing our, our uh, fender flare. So let's go ahead. This is 100% uh, clean. Um, it kind of looks nasty because there's a bunch of rock chips out of the front of it. It looks makes it look dirty, but um, it's been cleaned. And let's go ahead and see how this piece of plastic takes this tr black trimmer new. So this is a different kind of plastic. Um, 
it's it's acting a whole lot better. Um, those those fender flares are really really bleached. Um, they're really bad. Um, right here, I'm not worried about uh, the trim or uh, uh, sorry, I'm not worried about masking this off because I tested it quite a few times and especially on this paint, um, it just wipes right off. So it's not not a bad thing if I get some dye on it. Not a huge deal, not a deal breaker. So here it looks like, that's what it looks like initially. Let's go over here. Go ahead and get this bottom side. It's looking really, really good up here. Make sure I get every square inch of this bad boy. Oh yeah. Get on the inside of this fender here. Make sure it looks good. Oh yeah, that looks outstanding. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my microfiber here and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the paint off real quick. So I'm just gonna wipe it up here. Just wipe the paint. Wipe this off the bumper. Might try to use it on some of the steel. <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and run this, wipe off the paint there. So literally that's all I did was just wipe it off the, off the painted surface. So now we'll give this five minutes. We'll go ahead and start time. Okay, so five minutes has elapsed. We're gonna go ahead and wipe this excess off. It really doesn't dry on the surface as much as I thought it would. Um, it definitely stays wet until you actually wipe off the excess. It's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about watching it so that it doesn't dry and streak up. Um, that's one thing I do like about this product so far. Um, it made this bumper cover look really, really good. Looks sharp. Um, I try to get out of as much light as I can. I've got these 6,500 Calvin bulbs on the wall. So kind of highlight it pretty darn well. So yeah, that's what our bumper cover looks like after one application. Um, like I said before, I really didn't notice a difference with the second application. It looked exactly the same. So, boom, there you have it. That's what it looks like on that bumper cover. So still a little bit, a little different contrast, but uh, definitely darkened it up. You can tell it's really dying. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel my tape off. And then uh, uh, when I'm done doing the front here, uh, we're gonna turn the truck around and we're gonna do one of the rear cover bumper covers because I think it's um, it's the same kind of plastic, but it is, uh, it's faded in a different way. It's the same kind of plastic as this bumper, but it's faded a lot more over time, and I'm not sure why. All right, so I began to apply this around the headlight bezels here. We're gonna go ahead and, um, so we're gonna go ahead and go down the grill here. Um, so one thing I like to do when I'm, when I'm reviewing a product is, <laughs> I mean, not every, I'd say 50% of the people who buy products don't read the instructions. So if, yes, if you, if you fought or if you follow manufacturer's instructions on everything, it should go as, you know, it should be the best application possible. But if you're always worried about exact, like being a hundred percent with it every time, you know, I like to see real world how it's going to hold up because 50% of the time people aren't going to use as directed. So I'm trying to see, you know, if it's something that you really truly need to to uh, apply per the per the uh, manufacturer's instructions. Like, do I need to tape around all the bodywork? No, I can wipe wipe that stuff off the off the paint, no problem. Uh, and this is a little bit easier to get in these. Uh, get in these fins here on the grill with this microfiber uh, applicator here. And getting into all the nooks and crannies is hard, um, but we're just gonna go right down the grill here and try to get it done as, as effectively as possible. This, this grill is very, very bad. Um, so, you know, we're gonna do as much as we possibly can with it. I'm sure you can see some of this. Heck, we'll even go over to here. What, is it, what do these do? little plastic around my hella black light, black magic lights. 
So we'll do the plastic bezels on them too. Look at that. Boom, hit that real quick. Go back in here, I'm like AD, ADD with this stuff. Ooh, squirrel, the next shiniest thing. I'll try to get in all these little crevices here. Kind of need a paintbrush for some of this stuff to get down right where you need it. Keep applying here. And uh, so get in all these here. See what we can make happen. It's gonna look good from one side, not the other. Man, this is a pain to get in here to all these little nooks and crevices. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna let five minutes elapse and then we're gonna wipe it off as best as I can. All right, so five minutes has elapsed. We're gonna go ahead and wipe off any excess here. I took my, uh, took my rubber glove off because my hands were about sweating, about pulling up sweat. Let's go ahead and wipe this excess here. Roughly wipe it off. Um, this, pr this product is pretty awesome. Uh, man, it's, it's definitely doing its job. Um, it has definitely made it uh, a lot darker, this crappy plastic grill. Uh, for sure, looks great. <laughs> I even put it here on the bumper. This, this part here in the middle is a metal bumper. And man, did it darken that up real well. I don't know if that's gonna, that's gonna stay there or not. It probably will wash off the, uh, the actual metal bumper. But for the purpose of of what I just did, um, it looks a heck of a lot better. So just get all the excess here off the front. It's all I'm really worried about. I'll let the I'll let the stuff kind of dry in the little fins. I'm not going to go back through with the microfiber there. Uh, but yeah, looks outstanding for for the first application. Looks great. I highly recommend it because uh, stuff's pretty awesome. I'm glad they came out with this. So this is our before and after um, what I had what I had done before. On, on this side I had rolled in pictures of this. But yeah, this is our before and after here. It looks pretty darn good. You can just see how much it, uh, it darkens up with it just being uh, uh, this is side is two coats, but that second coat you really don't see any difference from like I said before so Awesome stuff on the uh, on the three different kinds of plastic on the Jeep. So now let's roll over to the Land Rover I got to wipe the Land Rover down uh, But let's go over to the plastic on the Land Rover Okay, so this Land Rover plastic is what I'm most excited about if you can see in through here It's kind of faded and just doing all kinds of blotchy stuff from acid rain or whatever ran off this. Maybe it's some coolant in the past or whatever. You can also see it's bleached out really bad underneath here. And I don't know what I ever got on the plastic, but no matter what I do, I can't get this off of the plastic. So, or it, it's bleached the plastic. So I, I've never been able to come in with a product and cover it up um, for at least a little time. So <laughs> I accidentally dragged the microfiber along here. So we're gonna go ahead and coat this and see what it looks like gonna wait five minutes and then wipe it off here. So come in through here, so apply it liberally. You can just see the difference between the, the two plastics. They're both the exact same type of plastic. The top piece here and this bottom piece, same type of plastic. Um, and this plastic is clean. I just got done cleaning it and wiping it off. So uh, it, it pretty much looks like any other product I've tried on here. I've tried the Chemical Guys undercarriage spray. It holds up for a day or two and then it's back to its usual. So hopefully this black dye in this is gonna help us to uh, uh, have a little bit more longevity here on this plastic. But it goes on so well and so uh, so even, even if you don't have a, even if you're not applying it even, you're not even trying, it goes on so even. I really like it. This, the smell could be a little bit better, but I mean, that's with any solvent, you're gonna have a, a weird smell to it. Don't get too picky. All right, let's go ahead and get really work into these spots that are bleached out. Oh yeah, looking good. So I don't have a crazy amount of light on this side of the garage. So 
kind of just getting what I can get here off of uh, my overhead lights. So I just, just wanted to jump over here and do a whole different vehicle to see exactly how it looks on this. Really impressed. Looking really good. Go up here, get this part. Okay, let's go ahead and reapply here. So between these two vehicles, this microfiber applicator is about saturated. Um, I assume just I'm just going to throw this in the trash because uh, I don't want the the black dye to get on anything else. So I'm literally just going to throw this in the trash. Nice something cheap that I can throw away. Get around my symbol here, and man, this looks good. Let's get into this corner here. Man, I hope you can see that well on camera, just how awesome that looks and just uh, how much of a change that is. Let's give it five minutes to penetrate really well, and then uh, let's wipe it off and call it a day. All right, so five minutes has elapsed. Let's go ahead and wipe this down and see what it looks like. Oh man, this stuff is cool. So in the couple spots that it uh, looked a little uneven, um, it kind of got rid of it, but it kind of did not. You can still see that it's uneven and faded out underneath. So I don't know, it's just a type of plastic that, um, that I'm putting it on. It just differs from plastic to plastic. It kind of got rid of my faded spots here on the other side. They don't look terrible. It definitely uh, darkened it up quite a bit. The result could be a little bit better on this type of plastic, but um, nonetheless, it probably looks pretty darn good um, from a couple feet away. If you're right up on it and scrutinizing it with light, I can see how how you'd say, ah, it doesn't work that well, but it, uh, it looks pretty darn good. I'm impressed. I'll keep using it for sure. All right, so let's recap our video and call it a night. All right, so in conclusion, this product is pretty awesome. Um, I, I didn't have, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't have high hopes for it because a lot of Trim Renew uh, just really doesn't hold up. Um, of course, this is obviously in the first, you know, hour or two of me putting the product on, so I'm sure that it will fade, but uh, it, it really looks a lot better than any product I've ever used for Trim Renew. Um, the Back to Black stuff from Mothers, I think, or Meguiar's, I don't know who makes Back to Black, but uh, it certainly didn't even look close to what this is. So this is definitely a product that, that I stand behind just using it on the Jeep. Um, you saw how it went on the Land Rover. The Land Rover wasn't very faded. So I think that this is an awesome product. Um, of course, if you, if you back it up with some kind of sealant or ceramic coating, it'll last longer, um, things like that. So I definitely recommend it for a $20 bottle um, and a little bit of, of blood, sweat, and tears in it. Um, I'm sweating in the garage. I think it's up to like 73 in here now. So um, it's just one of those things. Uh, you put a little bit of time and effort into it, do it the right way. Uh, in some areas, like I said, I was being a little bit uh, more lenient with it, just kind of, you know, not following the directions, just kind of slapping it on and seeing what it does, and it really didn't act any different. So I think it's a great product. I stand by it. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, I, I bought it today, so 20 bucks of my own money. I like it. Uh, it it's, it's pretty awesome. So... Go out and get your bottle, order it online. Um, don't be afraid to use it. Uh, use it liberally. The bottle will go a long way. I see it going a very long way. So we'll see how, how it holds up in the upcoming months of this sitting outside. And uh, maybe I'll do an update video, but for the most part, two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. Uh, if you guys like my content, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate the help. Um, if you have any other ideas, you like my video today, uh, please comment below. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys next video. I'll quit running my soup cooler and um, let you guys get on to the next video. So have a good one. We'll see you next time around.